I'm terrific. I mean, who wouldn't be? I'm so happy that you showed I up can't after I can't believe we finally you. got together. I know. We it's were at wonderful. Forbidden Broadway, and I, I accosted you and yes. begged you to come on the show. Yes. And yes. you did. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. Because you never know if people will be frightened or somehow appreciative of my enthusiasm. Oh, no, no, I know. It was very, very enthusiastic. Yeah. I mean, you were... And your brother. Danny. Did you... Did you do they know what, what transpired that fateful night? I didn't tell them, <clears> no. No, what had happened, I'd been... Um, well, I'm a fan of uh, Forbidden Broadway. I was there for the second time in a couple of weeks. And uh, we saw the show, and it was wonderful. I was sitting there with a couple of friends. And then the show was over, and Rosie, who what had been at the next table or two tables away. Watching you the whole show. And her, I didn't realize I that. was. <laughs> and her brother came over, I stood next to my table and sang the entire Maud theme. In harmony. Yeah, but her, your brother just came in for the, oh yeah. Yeah, he came in yeah. for the, oh yeah. yeah. You know, this is interesting because I was at a place last night down in the village yeah. called the Universal Grill. I know it. You, you ever, it's nice. Well, you know what they do? It's a wild, crazy place, kind of wonderful, where they, when people celebrate a birthday there, uh, they don't sing happy birthday to you. They all get up and they sing the Maud theme. Exactly. And not yes. a lot of people know that ending part. <laughs> I know, I know. Would you uh, like to hear... Uh, no, Rosie please, Rosie? please. I couldn't. I'll come in for the oh yeah. You will? If you do the oh yeahs, I'll do it. I'll do the oh yeahs. All right, hit it, John. Two, three, four. Lady Godiva was a freedom rider. She didn't care if the whole world looked. Joan of Arc with the Lord to guide her. She was a sister who really. She was falling apart, but your rocks got it all sewn up. And then there's more. Then there's more. And then there's more. And then there's more. And then there's more. And then there's right on compromising, enterprising, and a thing but tranquilizing. Right on more. Oh, God. It's wonderful. Growing up, that I would ever get to sing it to your face, you know, I Well, loved. you know, I was thinking about this, Rosie, because, you know, when we started, Maud was in 1972. Yes. Were, how old were you? Nine. You ten. really were? I was born in 62. I was 10. Ah. Ah, so you do remember. I totally. Because I, I remember I, the first episode of All in the Family. Oh, my God. That was the pilot episode. Oh, my God. That they spun <laughs> off. Yes, yes. You know what, B? What? We have it here. I thought, you know, I'd like to see it. Oh, my God. Take a look. Me with the hair the and the The hair and, and the that. things. Go. Maud! <laughs> Edith! Wait a minute. Didn't you get my telegram telling you to stay the hell away from here? <laughs> of course I got your telegram telling me to stay the hell away from here. Edith, honey, oh, man, you can rest oh. easy now. <laughs> Marty is here. And so you are. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> now, the history goes, I know I'm not sure that it's true, you did that one episode and CBS said, give her her own series. Yes. One episode. Yeah, but they also said, where has that girl been? Yeah. You know, after many, many years on Broadway, off Broadway, off, off. But you Norman know. Lear was a friend of yours, and he coached yes. you to come out to L.A. Yes. to do one yes. episode. Yes. Did you have any idea that they were going to offer you this? Oh, and it... no. no. I mean, I... All I was worried about was that it would be good, the one segment. Right. And Norman promised me that if it wasn't, he'd get somebody else to do it. I'm glad he so didn't. Did. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Now, Maud, how, how long did it run? I stayed with it for six years. Six years. Yeah. They wanted to go on. I believe... I've forgotten whether I... I became a congresswoman or a something in Washington. <laughs> and they wanted to, uh, you know, it was at the height of the, the women's movement. Right. And uh, then they wanted to continue with Maud in Washington with a different cast. But I figured, you know, it, she'd still be the same Maud. And uh, I decided it was enough. Six years is enough. And it was sort of instantly <clears throat> hugely successful. Was it hard oh, to God. adjust to that kind of fame, like, overnight? Uh, 
yes, because it's totally different being as you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Very, very, very much. No, you know, <clears throat> you can you can spend years and very successfully on the stage, mm -hmm. but once you hit television, it's like, I mean, people who never even knew you feel that uh, you're a you know you're a member of the family. Right. And uh, it was pretty rough at first. I mean, because I wasn't used to that kind of adulation or whatever. You know, you could. I remember, I remember taking my kids to Disneyland, and I. Uh, I thought, oh God, how am I going to do this so no one will recognize me? And I put on a raincoat and put the collar up, and I had big dark glasses, and I wore a, a scarf around my hair, and you know, standing in line in that heat for hours, <laughs> waiting. And I, I mean, I nobody paid any attention to me <laughs> except they all looked at me. You know, who's that crazy lady <laughs> who's sweating so hard? <laughs> but uh, no, and. Uh, you know, after that, you sort of realize they, they really feel you're a member of the family, and sure. they love you. And if they want to, if they come up to you, it's only because they want to say thank you right. and I love you. You know how much they appreciate yes, you. Yes. Yes. Now yeah. you did, of course, main with Angela Lansbury yes, here. Yes. Yes. And you guys are remained really good friends. Oh Is yes. That true? Very yes. Close. Isn't that lovely? Yes. 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 You're a big supporter of the theater, I know. Yes. Have you seen any of the new musicals this uh, year? Fact, I've seen. I've seen uh, the life. Steel Pier. Uh, Titanic, have you seen? No, I haven't. I, I know you like that very much. I tell you, I, and I saw The uh, Little Foxes. Stockard and I saw was great. Last Night at Valley Hill. Valley Hill. And I saw How I Learned to Drive. And I really am tired now. I want a couple of <laughs> theater free days, yeah, you know. But it's exciting, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's very exciting. Is that your first I mean, love theater? You oh, of course. Yeah. Except that, you know, doing both TV shows that I did was like doing theater because we did it in front of an audience, you know. Oh, I must tell you, I just did a very, a very fun thing this week. Uh, first of all, I just came to New York to see friends and shows. Didn't plan on working, but um, uh, I did, along with a couple of other people, I'll tell you who they are, a, uh, a children's, a recording of a children's book for uh, the Children's um, uh, Book of the Month Club. Wow. For a... Um, the proceeds to go to a, um, a foster children's charity in, in L.A. And Paula Poundstone Who I love. is producing it. And it's called uh, A Mother for Choco. And uh, I recorded part of it. And Mary Tyler Moore and Lily Tomlin wow. and Ed Asner and Kathy... Uh, uh, the, with Majimmy. Najimmy. Najimmy. Very funny from yes, Sister Act. Yes, yes, yes. Paula and, Poundstone, uh, isn't she great? Oh, yes. And she's a foster mom I herself, know, as I you know. know. Yes. Yeah, she's know. A, she's going to be next year a correspondent for us on the show. She's going to be on once a month. Oh, she's going to go wonderful. all over the country at like oh, chili festivals wonderful. into the mall, what she's great at talking to yeah. people. And she's going to be. Chili a, festivals. Can you imagine like her that. at a chili cook off? Yeah. <laughs> that is funny comedy right there. I know. Well, well when, that, when that comes out, you send us a copy and we'll hold it up and tell everyone where to oh, get it. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Can I say, B. Arthur? It's one of the thrills of my life getting well, to meet I you and know you. you and I really. And may I tell you that it's a joy to be here? Oh, that's. I usually sweet. don't do these. Things. But I so appreciate that you did, and I'm very satisfied. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. We'll